guys, welcome to this week's episode of Real World Basics. Today we're going to be talking about grocery shopping. So it can be really easy to get swept up in everything that a grocery store has to offer and then you end up walking out with way more or way less than you intended. So today's video is going to cover some tips on how to navigate a grocery store and how to take care of your purchases when you get home. So to go along with today's episode, I have included two resources. The first one is um, how to properly clean your produce because there's a lot of different like tips and suggestions on things to do. So this one comes from the FDA, so uh, that'll give you some instructions on how to take care of your produce. And then I also have um, just some general healthy uh, lifestyle grocery shopping tips. Um, so go ahead and give those a look if you have any questions. So let's go take a look and see on how to grocery shop. So the first thing you want to do when you're going grocery shopping is make a list. However you want to do that is totally up to you. Um, there are three kind of main lists that I personally use. Um, the very first one is just this simple bullet list of stuff. Sometimes I don't get real specific if I'm making um, tacos. I'll just put taco stuff. Um, knowing kind of in my head what I sort of need uh, to get through my recipe, but that's just a general list I would make on the fly. Um, if I were to have a bunch of recipes that I'm making this week, I would use something like this, which I have different categories that I would list all of my necessary ingredients under, all of the things I need to pick up. So as I go through each um, section of a grocery store, I can go through my list, make sure I have everything I need before I move on to the next section. Um, the third one is this one down here. And it's kind of like a map grocery list. So you would make this according to whatever grocery store you frequent the most. And it's really for visual learners. So when you first enter the grocery store, usually you enter in the produce area. So you kind of follow a map along the grocery store with all of your uh, items listed. So you enter, you go into the produce area, you know, you need some salad. And then in the, you keep going back, you reach the bakery area, you get your muffins, you continue along the back wall where all of the um, meat items are. And then in the middle section is always where the aisles are, which you know, that's where I'm gonna find my chips. Continuing on to the far end, to the frozen section, and then you're able to check out. Um, you always can print out your recipes to take with you and just use those as your grocery shopping lists if you're cooking from a recipe. And before you get to the checkout section, always take a minute to just go through your cart before you actually queue up in line, just in case you need to quick run back and grab anything you've missed. Um, another great thing you can do during your grocery list step is look up any ingredients that you don't know. Um, I've spent an embarrassing amount of time wandering around grocery stores looking for yams because I didn't know they were sweet potatoes. Um, the same thing with pepitas. I didn't know that they were pumpkin seeds. So it just saves you a lot of time in the grocery store if you look up a name of an ingredient you're not familiar with and just jot jot it on your list just so you know that there's a couple different things you could be looking for. So when you get to purchasing in the grocery store and maybe you're looking at um, fruit, you need some fruit for some smoothies and you're unsure of whether you should buy fresh or frozen and it kind of depends on a, what your budget is and B, what you're going to be using the product for. For a smoothie, you can totally get frozen fruit um, in a big old bag. It'll cost a little bit less and you don't have to worry about it going bad before you get through all of it. 
but if you were making a fruit salad, it might be a better idea to go with the fresh fruit, especially if you're gonna bring it to a get together and you know it's gonna be eaten at that time because sometimes fresh fruit doesn't always uh, thaw in the tastiest way. Um, if waste is a concern for you and you're trying to be very eco-friendly um, and you wanna avoid plastic bags from frozen food, you can purchase fresh uh, fruit, veggies, and then pre-cut, measure it, and freeze it in a reusable container. Just let that keep rolling. Another thing to look at when you're grocery shopping are the generic products. Um, definitely take a look, compare the ingredient lists. There is almost always no difference between a generic and name brand product. Um, the only difference is the label and the price. So um, go ahead and buy the generic product if you're not sure. It'll add up to some considerable savings as you make your way through the grocery store. Uh, buying in bulk is also a great cost saving measure. If you're able to shop at a bulk store like Costco or Sam's Club or maybe your grocery store is having a really big sale, um, it can reduce the price per item that you pay. And it's great for items you know you're going to use up um, you can split with other members of your household, or they have a really long shelf life. So it might cost a little bit more up front um, since you're buying so much, but uh, go ahead and do a little bit of math and you can calculate the price per item and compare it to just a single item you would purchase at maybe a convenience store or the grocery store. The last thing I wanted to touch on for grocery shopping was how to clean your produce. So I did include that resource from the FDA, but just so we can go over it together, you want to clean your produce before you peel it or cut it because you don't want any um, bacteria, uh, insecticide, pesticide that might be lingering on it to get inside of the food that you are then going to eat. All you need to do though with it is to just run it under plain running water. Um, if you have like firm produce like a potato, cucumber, zucchini, you can just scrub it with like a firm brush and that will get off any extra residue that's on it. Um, you don't need to use soap or a fancy produce wash um, because those materials can linger on your produce and actually cause some gastrointestinal upset. Um, which isn't what you're trying to go for, I'm sure. So you just then you clean it using a dry towel and it's good to go. So grocery stores are truly a blessing in the modern world. It gives you seemingly endless choices from all over the world. It's super easy to get overwhelmed by all of those choices and options, but with a little bit of practice, you can get in and out with all of the items you meant to. So that wraps up the series on cooking. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and use your newfound cooking skills to make something delicious. The Manassas Park City Library actually has a new photo challenge starting on social media next week, um, where you take a picture of your favorite food and submit it to us on Facebook to be featured on our page. So hopefully you can use your new cooking skills to make something delicious and send us a picture of it. As always, if you have any suggestions or questions on tutorials or how-to videos you'd like to see, please don't hesitate to reach out to us either on social media or through email. And then next week, we are going to get into uh, clothing care. So we're going to start by doing laundry. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.